Hey friends, today we're playing a horror game called Rusty Barrel. This is an underwater submarine style horror game inspired by Iron Lung. And honestly, that alone made me jump at the chance to try this game. I've been asked before what I think the scariest setting for a horror game is or the scariest type of horror game. And I think for me, a horror game taking place underwater has the greatest potential for scares. I remember playing a game called Endless Ocean when I was a kid. I'm sure I've talked about this game before in a previous video. It had a big impact on me. Endless Ocean is not a horror game. It's an underwater diving game where you just explore the ocean and learn about fish. There's no combat, no enemies. It's hardly a simulator because there's not even any sort of resources to manage. But there are parts of this game that scared the hell out of me. You can turn off the music in the game to just make it quiet. And when you're really deep down in the ocean, it's pitch black and all you hear is the breathing of your oxygen tank, it is a horrific experience in the best possible way. Now I'm not sure what kind of gameplay this is going to have to offer, but really I'm just kind of looking forward to spending some time with you guys right now. I'm recording this at night, and tomorrow I was supposed to go to a wedding for one of my best buddies. Unfortunately, a couple hours ago, I literally tested positive for COVID on a rapid test. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really sad that I can't go. I mean, I'm, I'm crushed. Unfortunately, that's life. It has a tendency to throw the most inconvenient and unexpected things at you at a moment's notice. But here's me trying to make the best of it with you guys. I love you and I hope you're safe. With that being said, here is Rusty Barrel. Inspired by Iron Lung, those are big shoes to fill. Iron Lung was a massive, massive indie horror game sensation. The Rusty Barrel is an old deep sea submarine that specializes in collecting minerals from the ocean floor. The submarine has rather modest characteristics, it's slow and has limited maneuverability. It's extremely difficult to work in narrow spaces. Your main task is to collect minerals from the ocean floor and deliver them to their destination. You will have to operate in narrow gorges at a depth of more than 4,000 meters. Be careful, as the submarine is fragile and leaks are possible. For such cases, you will have a repair tool. Good luck. So, unlike Iron Lung, this very much takes place at, uh, you know, a real ocean, one of our oceans. And we're just collecting minerals. There's no sort of existential dread here, at least not yet. All we have to do is collect minerals. So here we go. Hmm. I love the visuals of the game. Oh, it actually has a working window. In Iron Lung, we could only see what was outside of the ship via an old black and white camera. That's cool. At least we're not alone in the submarine, right? So this is repair tools. That's to put out fires. Anything in here? No? Okay. Use the WASD to move. And to exit, use E. Oh my goodness, that... I. I This is not good. We can see the ocean floor in real time. And it's you, it's me, and it's our duck friend back there. So all we're doing is collecting minerals, right? All right, hold on, hold on. Are those giant bones? What is that? Objectives. The nearest mineral cluster is located at the coordinates X15, Y, Minus 90. And what is... Th th oh, okay, we can... Alright, so we can stand here. Okay. And now we have a good view of the coordinates. X15. I think we need to... Oh, and we have a radar on our top left. Oh, look! I wonder what fish that is. Is that a grouper? Oh, man. I, I have goosebumps right now. There's something just... Captivating. But it, it's... 
it's inherently disturbing to all of us, right? Like, I don't know anyone that isn't at least creeped out by the idea. Oh, there we go. Grab that. Oh, cool! Okay. Nice. One mineral collected. I don't know anyone that isn't at least creeped out by the concept of being underwater in an unfamiliar area where life still manages to thrive. And this looks like a different type of fish. I think this game was made in 72 hours and I am floored. What was that? Oh! I think I'm just running into things and panicking myself. Let me turn around though because I heard something behind us. Uh, negative 33x. And then why... Did I miss something? Huh. I don't think I did. So if that's the x-axis... Okay. Damn it. I'm running into stuff. Oh, okay, I'm getting nervous. I know, I know, I know. You're panicking. It's nerve-wracking, though, like, inherently, right? I feel like it's something that has evolved within us over a long period of time to be afraid of, of this, you know? To be afraid of the ocean, to be afraid of what we don't understand. I just went in a giant circle. So wait, where where's the next? Why 42? I am going to sink the ship with zero threats present. Atmospherically, like, even even the little particles in the water, it makes it feel real. Oh, here it is. Here's something. Oh, <gasps> crap. Oh, look, and there's some bluefish here. They almost look translucent. All right, two out of six. They are translucent. What are we mining for exactly here? Minerals of some kind? They glow, they're bioluminescent. Or, well, I guess not. Um, okay, don't panic, we have a leak. Gotta weld that shut in real time. I'm assuming some rocks just fell on us, maybe? Hopefully nothing that is gonna really... ...you know, damage the integrity of the ship. Alright, Captain Quack. Right, I'll get right back on it. The gamers are depending on me. I'm not sure how many of you are watching right now, but this isn't really isn't a big ship, so I'm not sure if there's enough for all of us. More fish? Oh! I heard something. Oh, never mind. That's Chester. Chester! No! That was Chester reaching his head into an empty Chick-fil-A bag. That was not, uh... Something in the game. Are these giant, like, bones? Like a rib cage? We have half the objectives done. Oh! Oh, whoa! Look at this! More fish, but... Look 
Look at that. Look at the jellyfish. Oh, what is that? Okay, my heart has dropped into my stomach. Humpback whales, jellyfish right in front of us. Wow. We are like a speck compared to them. I wish I could look down. Like, when you go out into the open ocean and it's just it's just pitch black and and you you lose a sense of your relative space around you it's it's oh let me go ahead and grab this real quick all right four out of six materials that was awesome that was awesome and here i thought i heard something more fish Okay, we're back in a less scary area. Whoa! Okay. Captain Quack? I want to turn around, but turning around in this ship isn't easy. Who- who is- What is hitting us? It's like- Someone's opening fire on our ship or something, like... I don't get it. That- that's not a rock. It's like something is intentionally attacking us. That sounded like a guided missile of some kind. The alarm is blaring, though. All right. Put that back up. Continue on with the mission. Ready? Thank you, Captain. Okay. Continuing on with the mission. More jellyfish. Making our way through. Hmm. Little fork in the road here. Ah. Looks like I chose right. Alright. Grab the penultimate material. And then one more mineral cluster. Which I'm not sure... What exactly we're collecting? What minerals? Oh, now they're like these... Trees? Some sort of plant life. Oh! No. Can I? Okay, it wouldn't let me. Maybe I'm pressing the wrong buttons and panicking. <sighs> okay, everyone, remain calm. We're okay. We're okay. Nothing to worry about. We got a job to do. Me and you. Oh, who let me steer? Yeah, this is like claustrophobic. It. it our ship is barely. What is approaching us on the radar? The mineral? Is that the mineral? Oh god, I'm like frozen in fear. Uh, That was made in three days. Extremely impressive. Um, I want to say, I think, I think the ending could have been better if it was like an actual, you know, 3D model of a creature that we encountered 
in the water similar to the you know the way we encountered the the fish the jellyfish the whales i thought that area with the jellyfish and the whales was the scariest part of the game um i mean that i i locked up during that part but um it's interesting how we were collecting these minerals all the minerals glowed and at the end when it looks to be what you know what we see is another mineral it's actually some giant anglerfish dangling a glowing orb in front of us that we think we're there to collect. So, interesting how that worked. I wish the payoff was with maybe like a big area with a giant fish swimming around in, in a very open and dark area. I think that just being there and being in the ocean would have been um, a more effective payoff in my personal opinion. Still a very scary game, uh, scary ending. Absolutely loved it. Rusty Barrel, thumbs up for me. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I will see you in the next one.